Good evening, this is Todd Medina from Sology One Studios. It's August 19th, 11 o'clock in the evening, Central Standard Time, Houston, Texas. Sometimes we are forced into an isolation by the universe, and that doesn't just mean that we're alone physically because you can be standing right next to one or more people and be alone and that's not such a bad thing because when you're isolated by the universe and in many cases uh, left you know on your own with nowhere else to go but in your deepest thoughts we find out a lot about ourselves and this is where we can recall soul memories. One of the reasons I'm coming out and talking about my personal experiences is because over the last four years since I started Soulgy, there have been many, many people that have told me their own stories. Um, I can think of a lady that told me that at three years old, the angel Gabriel was across the street from her house in a field and played music for her for three straight days and he has continued to stay in her life I can look at my own situation where on May the 30th 2011 at 1 11 in the morning uh, I looked up in the trees and there was a brilliant light and I saw the face of what I knew was Jesus and not the Jesus from the Bible maybe the Jesus referenced in the Bible but I would say this was more like my cosmic father and on that night he told me to get ready because my world was about to turn upside down and it did the next day six weeks later I left my house with two suitcases a briefcase and a box of mementos my family was gone. I had no money. I had no job. I had no car. I had no home. But when I walked out of my house, I believed that I was the most blessed person that ever lived. And I still believe that today. And I say that from the center of my own universe, as we, each one of us, is the center of our own universe. Many things happened to me uh, as I set out on a the first part of a seven month spirit walk. Every day I began to live it as the adepts do and did. Uh, I knew that I would have something to eat. I knew that I would find work. I knew that I would find a place to sleep. You know, many times uh, when people are going through difficult times, they use the phrase, as they do in AA, uh, one day at a time. For me, it was one step at a time. Many times I would be walking in 100 degree heat, carrying everything I owned, and sweating profusely. And I didn't have time to think about uh, the pain in my heart, the loss of my family, the loss of the things I had, and that the world deems important. But what I did have was my truth because I knew my truth I knew my heart and my mind of spirit that is soul and I knew the universe knew my truth so I began communicating with that universe and many many things happened to me uh, and in short uh, I continued to commune uh, almost like a walking communion a constant communion and the power grew stronger. I was uh, introduced to my cosmic mother. And again, this is from the center of my universe. Keep in mind, the universe speaks to each one of us differently uh, in ways that we can understand. When I first started this, not having been uh, involved with organized religion since I was about eight or nine years old, Jesus or we may call him Sananda, uh, and Magdalene, who I would call Lady Nada, 
uh, came back to, to visit <laughs> and uh, eventually introduced me to six prophets Abraham, Isaiah, Solomon, uh, Daniel, Samuel, and Noah. Each one of those prophets uh, taught me something different. You know, Abraham was faith. Isaiah was the gift of communication and the, uh, the art of chiasmus, uh, which is a, a method of writing. Uh, Samuel taught me spiritual confidence. Daniel taught me courage. Noah taught me persistence, thick skin, and Solomon logic and wisdom. From there I was uh, introduced to a team of 24 guardian angels led by a lead angel by the name of Ariel and as time went on uh, they came to me and introduced me to a spirit guide a chief running bear who I understood to be the spirit of my father he was introduced to me to teach me one last thing uh, and that was to overcome fear he Chief Running Bear introduced me to um, White Wolf, who I understood to be my brother from a previous life, who was the spirit of my heart, and also White Owl, who I understood to be an uncle from a native life, who was the mind of my spirit. These emissaries of the universe taught me many things and uh, I'm blessed to have walked with them in time I began to understand that first white wolf was really me white owl was me and in time I started to understand and feel uh, that the spirit of my father, Chief Running Bear, was also a part of me and in fact was me. In time each one of these prophets, these ascended masters, uh, I began to feel the same that they indeed were me also and even with my cosmic mother and father now it's a little bit hard to understand but because the communications that I, I receive and I believe most people receive uh, this may not include channelers and that type of thing or mediums but um, they uh, speak in a language that's not a human language it's the language of the intuitive it comes in impressions and images and uh, sometimes short phrases maybe but also in omens and signs. Uh, for example, uh, I've had many experiences with animals, uh, wild animals, uh, snakes, um, red-tailed hawks, uh, and other, other animals. You know, the universe speaks to each one of us. But if we walk through life only seeing, <coughs> excuse me, only seeing the physical world, and not acknowledging the spiritual in its little nuances then we obviously aren't going to see it uh, I've learned to see it and I know many people have the reason I've come out with this is is because I believe that it's important for people to start talking about these experiences they've had and still have today and the more people that begin to do this the more people that begin to accept that they indeed are eternal and divine the more people will have the courage to step forward and as that happens I believe there is a collective consciousness that will be raised and I think it's already happening it's not just happening with individual souls it's happening with groups of people it's happening uh, to mother earth it's happening to this solar system we live in a dynamic time people can call it the apocalypse 
Uh, I think that uh, if you look at the books of the five major religions, they all lead to this point. Science leads to this point. The stars lead to this point. Uh, the, uh, I guess the outline of the uh, Galactic Federation leads to this point. And really, these are all elements of the universe that are one and the same. The story can be told a, a zillion different ways, but at the end of the day, they're all the same. And I've seen miracle after miracle for four straight years, literally every day. And those miracles are driven by faith. Not faith the noun, but faith the transitive verb, to trust and believe. I've seen it heal. Uh, the uh, tragedies and catastrophes that my family has endured uh, I've seen these people heal I've seen people uh, in the next uh, circle outside of my family extended family begin to heal um, and I've seen many people uh, with the power of the internet through Sology and through relationships uh, on the internet which I do believe is a powerful force that brings the physical uh, meshed with the spiritual where the invisible energy that we all carry the true power that we are the true essence of what we are communicates to people who are not standing right next to each other I've had many powerful experiences with people around the world where they felt my presence and I felt theirs. I've had uh, the, the grace of synchronicity. Uh, again, signs and omens where uh, they're not just animals giving you me a sign or uh, an omen, uh, but people, you know, at first it may seem a coincidence, but that to contact you at the right moment, giving you the right information that you need at that time and vice versa. This is real. There's a matrix out there, and that matrix is a consciousness, basically, that the physical human being has collectively created. It's an illusion. It, it basically spawns fear, you know, and, uh, and I believe that's what's happened with uh, organized religion, with state, countries, and we live in this fear. And how do we overcome that fear? We overcome that fear by having faith in the perfect order of the universe. There is a higher power. There is a perfect order. We can call it the golden rule. And we are essentially the children of this universe. So we are therefore the same thing as this universe. We are made of the same thing. And that God's substance, that universal substance is in each and every one of us. And what happens when you start to communicate with the universe is you start to grow in faith. And as your faith grows stronger, your power grows stronger, your peace grows stronger, and your freedom as a soul grows stronger. So, you know, I'm not the only person in the world that has become fearless. Uh, I'm not afraid to die because there is no death. I'm not afraid to be imprisoned. I'm not afraid to be tortured. I'm not afraid to be hurt. Um, and what this does for you uh, when you find this freedom is it allows you to gain your authenticity and to enter into one-to-one -one relationships with people of all different types of relationships uh, where you're willing to let go you know I can give you one example uh, yeah, I had a very difficult time in my marriage uh, it was a very um, wild scenario there was a, a psychotic uh, a psychotic aspect to it there was a human aspect to it there was a spiritual aspect to it uh, and through the uh, experience that I had I found it very diff be found it very difficult at first to admit that I no longer trusted women <laughs> so that was kind of the last leg of my journey was to make peace with the divine feminine for two or three years I couldn't even talk to women and 
then as I progressed, I began to. And I learned a lot about myself. And with each relation, with each communication, with each uh, experience, whether it be with the same person or a new one, as time went on, as I like to say, as we collided, my honesty grew, my love grew, my openness grew, um, my authenticity grew. And I saw it also happen on the other side. If you give uh, of yourself openly and freely, then in, in, its, in its mutual, it does come back. It is reciprocated. So to close this part of the show out, I would just like to reiterate that the universe is real. We are real. All the histories are real. From the Greek mythology to Lemuria to the Sumerians, uh, Phoenicians, the Egyptians, the uh, story of Abraham cited in the Sumerians and the, the three religions that he is the father of, uh, Buddha, uh, Lao Tzu, Confucius. Um, all of these are a part of the universe. All of these are real. All these histories are real, and there are common threads in each one of them. And what this matrix, this consciousness, this human consciousness that has dominated our lives individually and collectively, what it's done is that it's created differences among us. And those differences are what blind us. So the aim of the message at Sology is to close the doors of those differences and to get back to the things, the very few things, if not even the one thing, that is common to us all, and that is soul, and that we are all part of the same thing. And to me, that is what ascension is. Ascension is not a place. Ascension is not a spaceship coming to save us. Ascension is not an angel or a, or a, or a god uh, coming from the skies to save us and leave the people that didn't abide by the rules behind. Ascension is both an individual experience and a collective experience. And for every individual that embraces the universe and that seeks to communicate with it and that, and that finds that silence and finds that isolation either by choice or otherwise uh, and begins to find the light of their soul, uh, find their soul, from there they find the light and from there they find their faith and their peace and their wisdom and their courage. They become selfless fearless, compassionate, um, open-minded. They understand forgiveness. And uh, as I like to say, to the world a soul is born. These, uh, these principles, if that's what you want to call them, uh, are all soul. They're all love. And uh, I would encourage anyone that is... Uh, has experienced divine episodes, no matter how wild they may seem, no matter how strange they may seem, how weird they may seem, uh, to come out and uh, and come out with your story. I'd like to do stories, and I intend to do stories. I've already contacted several people uh, about their own stories, and I'm going to feature them on our show so we can get more and more of this information out there and start putting the pieces of this puzzle together. Uh, I would... Uh, tell anyone out there listening that if you have a story and you're looking for a place to share that story or even the expressions that you might have of your experiences like such as the, the writings that I've done in the past uh, videos uh, art uh, books poems prose uh, dance whatever it is whatever your expressions of your experience of the universe are from the stories to, to the expressions that I just went over. If you need a platform, Sology is that platform. I encourage you, any of you who would like to tell this story, if you want to do it in anonymity, or if you want to do it as I'm doing it, and, and, and just tell everybody who you are and what's happened. However you want to do it, it's fine. But this is a place you can do that. We want those stories. Uh, we are going to hit YouTube and the internet hard with all these stories and get them out there and let's see what happens. I wish you all peace, power, and protection and big love. 
from Solo G1 Studios, this is Todd Medina. Thank you.